Holly. Hey guys, it's me, Morgan. Make sure you guys stay tuned to hear about tutoring, Hispanic Heritage Month, the school Halloween bash, PSTA, Noah's Hot Topics, and bloopers. Hey Colts, leading the way is a tradition we have here at DMS, where teachers nominate a student who shows many leadership qualities. In this episode, we will show you the exceptional leaders and the teachers that nominated them. I'm Mr. Owens, and I have nominated Irini Ibrahim for this leading the way recognition. Irini has been a consistently hardworking student who also leads the charge in asking questions that sometimes other people, they have in mind, but they don't bring them up. Uh, she also just has positivity. She take, makes the most out of every day. That's one of my classroom rules to make the most out of I can out of everything. And Irini really does that. She adds life and vibrance to her environment and uh, everybody benefits from it. So thank you, Irini. Keep up the good work. Hello, Colts. Hey, Mr. Ennis here. I am here to recognize Mason Decker. Mason is doing a great job in our PE class, leading the way by his work ethic, his determination, uh, his positive attitude. Uh, his um, re uh, ability to persevere through some adversity. Uh, Mason had a couple of incidents where he twisted an ankle and got accidentally hit in the head with a volleyball in the nose, which couldn't feel good. Got hit in the head with a basketball in our, on our numbers accidentally by another student, but he didn't take any, he took uh, ownership of it. He didn't place any blame on anybody. Um, you could tell that he was upset, but he took some time. It is um, a privilege to honor Mason with this uh, Leading the Way recognition. Hi, I'm Mrs. Slife, one of the counselors here, and I'm here to talk to you about CCKO Day. CCKO Day is October 13th, and that stands for College and Career Kickoff Day. We are really excited. Uh, we'll have presenters during PE who are going to talk to you about their careers and training needed to get to where they are today. Also, there'll be lessons in your classes that will talk about the different college entrance requirements, all the different schools and universities in California, um, and you'll also get a chance to research some different careers. During lunch, you'll have some fun activities and games that you get to play. So get excited for October 13th, next Wednesday, and make sure you wear your college t-shirt. And welcome back to Top Things. I am your host, Noah Clovis. And sometimes Brayden. Yeah. Are they okay? I hope not. <laughs> Hopping right into top things, we're gonna be going on break and asking classmates what are their top subjects. Here we go. Hey guys, I'm Noah Clovis. What's your guys' names? Elijah Velasco. Uh, Chase Newell. And what are your top three favorite subjects? Um, science, AVID, and history. Nice. Probably science, uh, history, and probably PE. Thanks guys. One, Carter. Three, photography. Two, PE. One, lunch. Uh, one, history. Two, yearbook. Three, PE. Thanks, guys. High fives. Science, math, and social studies. There's been a lot of science. Science, social studies, and band. Thanks. Hey Morgan, I'm really struggling in math. Do you have any tips or ideas for me to, that'll help me? You should definitely try out tutoring. Tutoring can make your grade go up and you'll know what you're doing. Thank you. Try out tutoring, then you can understand what you're working on. Go on the DMMS website to get more info on the tutoring. I nominated Adrian Roberts because Adrian does his very best to hold not only himself accountable, but also his classmates accountable in making the school the best it possibly can be. Thank you, Adrian. Hey, eighth graders, this is Mrs. Downhower. I'm here to um, do a little um, marketing advertisement for our upcoming um, 11th annual star party. This is only for eighth graders on Friday, October 8th from 7 to 8.30 in the evening. So it's in the evening after school on a Friday. Just have your parents drop you off. It's free of charge. And as an 
extra incentive, the eighth grade science teachers are offering up to 25 extra credit points for attending and completing a reflection on what you learned that evening. So for the first half hour or so, it's gonna be an astronomy presentation by one of our local astronomers. All of the um, telescope viewing will be provided by the Temecula Valley Astronomers Club. And there's usually between eight and 10 large, amazing telescopes that will be able to see different celestial objects in the sky. And we'll be able to see the moon at, I believe it's gonna be a quarter phase that day. Um, and then there'll be um, Saturn and a few of its moons out we'll be able to see, Jupiter, maybe even some of its moons, Venus. The more clear skies, the more things we can see in the sky. So we're hoping that you guys can come out and join us. ASB will also be selling snacks and drinks um, for purchase, but the whole event just to come is free. And if you want to invite your family, you can. But again, this is only for eighth graders and their families to come and enjoy an astronomy evening. Okay, uh, Luigi or Mario? Luigi. Why? He's better. Touche. Okay, let's go. Mario or Luigi? Uh, I prefer Luigi. Okay, thank you. Tacos or burritos? I, I choose burritos, honestly. Burritos are delicious. It's what I get at the taco shop every day. Yeah, it's a taco shop, but okay. Tacos or burritos? Tacos. Tacos. Fish. <laughs> Tacos. Hispanic Heritage Month is September 15th to October 15th. Hi, Miss Layla Ortiz. So I am nominating you for Leading the Way. You have been doing an amazing job um, in PE this semester, and I truly just appreciate your good attitude. Um, you don't complain when it's hot. You're one of my strongest female runners, and you're truly leading the way um, in your example and your attitude. Hey Alex, uh, this is Mrs. Downhower. I am so proud of you. You are my Leading the Way recipient for the first um, grading period. You are just amazing in every way. I can't even like just begin to say how awesome you are. Um, from going way above and beyond in everything you do, um, participation and just getting work done in science, um, also just being an amazing helper in my classroom. Um, you are definitely a positive peer that I can always count on, and I truly appreciate everything that you're doing in science so far. And please keep it up. You are amazing, and huge hug from me to you. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. Hello, my name is Grammarly. I'm your personal writing assistant at this school. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy. That is why I am here for you. This is Grammarly, your personal writing assistant. She's always here whenever you need her. Is this sentence grammatically correct? Uh, looks like it. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Hello, my name is Grammarly. Grammarly. Yeah? Can you check this sentence? I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of an interview. Hello, my name is Grammarly. I am your personal writing assistant at Dorothy McElhaney. You probably see me around campus. I'm always helping kids all of the time and I'm always here whenever you need me. Yo, what's up, Colts? Did you know Vista Marietta High School just asked us to join their biking? So your BMX and mountain bikers are in invited to join them. PST 
is now giving out ice cream if you, are, you or your student has a cold bug. Please redeem it at our student store on the following dates listed on their flyer. If you are a parent with our membership, your child may use a, your cult book to redeem a, a free ice cream. Go Colts! Hey guys, I'm Maddie and I'm going to introduce you guys to the office staff. Aloha Colts! I am Mr. Patain and the sign outside my door says principal, so I guess I'm the principal. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Punzel. Just wanted to say hi. I'm one of your assistant principals. Um, so if you see me around, come up and introduce yourself. I would love to get to know you guys. Hi, I'm Mrs. Slife, and I'm one of the counselors here, and you can find me in student services. Hey Colts, this is Mr. Trejo. I'm one of the three counselors here at Dorothy McQueen Middle School. Uh, it... Good morning, I am Stacy Rico. I am the guidance tech here at Dorothy McElhaney in student Hi. services. Hi, I'm Ms. Steele and I work at Tennant and I'm at Hi, I'm Ms. Valenzuela and I'm the secretary of Dorothy McElhaney. Make sure you guys get your tickets for the Halloween bash before they're sold out. It will be a great time. The dance is on October 28th. It is $5 for an ASB card and $10 for a regular ID card. Thanks everyone for watching episode 6 of Mac News. Make, Make sure, sure you guys turn in for next week's episode. Bye everyone! I am here for you. That is right. Okay. Rolling. Um, wait, we're rolling? Yes. Oh my gosh. We're rolling. Okay. Um, okay, let's start. Let's start. We're rolling. Okay. Okay. Mario or Luigi? Luigi. It's Luigi. I must stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to Top Things. I'm your host, Aiden Nakata. And. <laughs> so lame. You guys are so lame. You guys are the cameraman. It's, oh, it's oh, our segment. Our segment. Okay. Oh, man. I can go for a bean and cheap burrito right about now. This day has been so long. You're still alive? Yeah, she's got to. Yeah. 